Phillies are coming onto the track for the fourth race, the first part of our minimum two heat feature. Win place show exact to trifecta. This is the Philly World Trotting Derby, the 23rd annual for a purse of $125,000. Let's meet the starters. Number one, the supplemental entry, Glide About. A Yankee Glide Philly owned by the C&I Siegel Racing Stable Limited of Brooklyn, New York, of owner Clifford Siegel. Trained by Karen Garland. The driver is Stephen Smith. I do believe Stephen's making his DuCoin State Fair debut. Number two is Blue Skies Hanover, owned by Bloodstock Farm and Stables of Saddle River, New Jersey, trained by Ron Gerfine, and the driver is Dave McGee. Number three, Alex Hall, is owned by Bob Waxman of Hamilton, Ontario, trained and driven by John Johnson, who has won this race in the past, both as a trainer and as a driver. Number four is Graceful Touch, owned by Bill Peretti's Peretti Racing Stable of Cream Ridge, New Jersey, Chuck Sylvester, the winningest trainer in the history of this race, is the trainer and Eric Ledford, the driver. Number five, Don't Doddle, is owned by Adelaide Skogland of North Key Largo, Florida, trained by Sweden's John Johnson, Illinois native Andy Miller, in the bike going for his first Philly World Trotting Derby title as a driver. Number six, Mom's Millionaire, is leased by Joe and Joanne Thompson of Chesapeake City, Maryland, and by Barbara Baum of Davie, Florida, trained and driven by Sweden's Jimmy Tactor, who now is a resident of the U.S. And number seven, Philly at Biggs, is owned by John Fielding of Toronto, Ontario, and Irving Liverman of Hampstead, Quebec. The Liverman stable has won this race at least twice in the past. Jimmy Tactor trains, and Cat Manzi, Hall of Famer, in the bike with Philly at Biggs. Fresh off his win, congratulations, Cat, in the Yonkers Trot. Yonkers Trot winning driver, Cat Manzi, on Philly at Biggs here in DuCoin today. Mom's Millionaire is off stride behind the gate. Here they come. The rest are off and trotting. Don't dawdle from the outside. Goes for the lead. Alex Hall is right there toward the inside. These two side by side into the first turn as Glide About comes away racing in third. Don't Doddle is up to get the lead by a length and a half. Alex Hall will go second. Gap of two to glide about, who trots comfortably in third. Graceful Touch is racing in the fourth position. Blue Skies Hanover goes fifth. Philly at Biggs is sixth, and Mom's Millionaire is off stride seventh, and Blue Skies Hanover has just broken stride as well. 28 and four, the time for the opening quarter. Don't Doddle is on top for Andy Miller by three lengths heading up the back stretch. Alex Hall goes second by a length and a half. Glide About is racing in third. Graceful Touch is fourth by two and a half lengths. And then Philly at Biggs and a long way back to Blue Skies Hanover and Mom's Millionaire. Approaching the halfway juncture, Don't Doddle is on top by a length and a half. And here comes the favorite, Glide About, moving up into second. Graceful Touch is on the move behind her. Alex Hall gets shuffled back into fourth. They got the half in 58 and four-fifth seconds. So a pretty leisurely half, and Glide About is up to get the lead from Don't Doddle. Graceful Touch is third on the outside, two lengths off the lead. Then it's Alex Hall, Philly at Biggs against the rail, and a long way back to Mom's Millionaire and Blue Skies Hanover. They approach the three quarters. Glide about is the leader by just over a length. Don't dawdle second to half length. Graceful Touch is racing in third as they turn for home. And then Alex Hall and Philly at Biggs. They got the three quarters in 126 and four. Glide about. The favorite leads it by two lengths turning for home. Graceful Touch is on the outside of Don't Doddle to challenge for second. Then Alex Hall and Philly at Biggs up on the outside in fifth. Inside the eighth pole, Glide About still leads it a length and a half. Don't Doddle. Here comes Philly at Biggs with a late move in the center of the track. But she's got to get Glide About. Philly at Biggs is trotting a storm on the outside. But she's running out of time. Glide About still has the lead. Photo for the win in the first heat of the World Trotting Derby for Phillies. It's either going to be Philly at Biggs or Glide About in 154 and two. For number seven, Philly at Biggs, who was second. The five, Don't Doddle, was third. And number four, Graceful Touch, was fourth. One, seven, five, four. The first heat of the Philly World Trotting Derby goes to the odds-on favorite and the supplemental entry, who's now the official winner, Glide About, a three-year-old Yankee Glide Philly, by the way, don't forget Yankee Glide sired last year's winner, CR Ms. American Pie. Kentucky Anna Farms General Partnership bred this filly. 
and she's owned by Clifford Siegel, CNI Siegel Racing Stable Limited of Brooklyn, New York, and Karen Garland is the winning trainer. And again, to the best of our knowledge, we've never had a female trainer train the winner of the Philly World Trotting Derby, and Karen is halfway there. Folks, how about a hand for Glide About in the winner's circle? And here comes the trainer, Karen Garland, right now, and flashing a big smile and greets her winning filly. We'll talk to the winning connections next. Stephen Smith, first time he's ever been to DuCoin. Stephen, I can go with you. Just go where you need to go. Steve, go a native of Massachusetts, your impressions of your first visit to DuCoin. Uh, pretty good. like it today. <laughs> got one more trip to go. One more trip to go. That's right. And uh, Stephen, one more question. Turning for home, you're on top. Cat Manzi is sitting in fifth position. He was nowhere near the lead turning for home. Were you concerned coming down the stretch? Well, I was just trying to keep a little in the tank for the next heat, and uh, I hadn't heard anybody coming, and uh, I was a little uh, unsure where the wire was. I can understand that. Karen Garland, you're halfway there. We've never had a female trainer win the world trotting derby. Her thoughts on the first heat? Uh, good so far. <laughs> good so far. Sounds good, too. Folks, another hand for Karen Garland and Stephen Smith, winners of the first heat of the Trotting Derby for Philly. 